What's up guys? Welcome to top five niches of the week. This is episode 93 and I've got a banger of an episode. I've got five really high demand niches for you to sell in this week to increase your print on demand sales. I've got some less obvious niches that are probably going to surprise you because right now it seems like there's a lot of obvious low hanging fruit niches. Well, we're going to have to talk about the number one overall trending niche because it is absolutely dominating sales. We're going to talk about a good sub niche I found within a niche that most of you guys are familiar with, but I think there's some opportunity. And then I've got two kind of random niches that aren't related to like major, like I said, low hanging fruit, holiday related, date related type um, niches. So I'm excited. Let's get started. Really quickly, let me announce this week's giveaway winners. If that looks like your email address, you'll be hearing from me shortly. Congratulations for winning the print on demand mega pack for free, of course. And this also kicks off a new giveaway. I think this is giveaway number 75. Make sure you guys enter. It's free. Use the link in the description. Also down there, I've got a free eight day print on demand mini course and a great print on demand Facebook community. I'd love to have you. All right. Let's get to these niches and niche number one will come as no surprise to anybody that's done any research lately. And if you watch my videos, which I know most of you guys do, thank you for subscribing. You know, I predicted that this would make a surging comeback. Now, what's cool is with that free Chrome extension I had mentioned called keywords everywhere that everybody probably already has now, uh, you can actually see kind of the spikes in search volume in Google. And that's indicative of when it's on people's minds. And I said, guys, this is a weird holiday because this is like a huge deal. I mean, is, is it a huge deal? I don't know. You decide. But uh, it's one of these like very rare occasions. And we know that like at a minimum, you know, sc school teachers and their students are going to wear a lot of these shirts. So make sure you got the youth checkbox checked. And uh, I don't know. I predicted because when we were looking, we kind of saw this niche coming about a month ago, if not longer. And we saw these big uh, peaks and valleys. Like it was almost as if somebody maybe on social media, some big influencer with like a ton of, I don't know. I don't know what it was. Or maybe it's just kind of the collective consciousness of people, but you would see a huge spike and then it would go down and nobody searches for it for like a week or two spike again, go down. And I predicted there would be a third spike and boy, was I right? Look at these BSRs, 150, 154 to be fair, not 154,000, not 15,000, not, not 1500, 154 BSR It is absurd. <laughs> like how many sales a day is that? It's gotta be hundreds. Um, I'm in a, by the way, I'm in a Facebook group with somebody who was early to this niche and, uh, yeah, yeah, they were cleaning up. They were making unreal money, thousands of dollars a day. Uh, so yeah, good shout out to anybody that got in there early with good designs. Um, 581 BSR, 750 BSR, 900. <laughs> this is absurd guys. This is like almost let's go Brandon level. You know what I mean? And like, we don't see niches like that. Like let's go Brandon and, uh, the Ruth Bader Ginsburg when she passed. I, th this is like on that level, guys. You never see niches dominate like this. Uh, it's very rare. So this is in like that top, you know, Mount Rushmore level in, as far as like customer demand goes. So here we got the uh, Pretty Merch Pro, uh, the research tool I was using here. I really like it for niching down. Of course, I didn't really need to niche down to find the Tuesday niche because the Tuesday niche is, uh, is that the first time I said the Tuesday niche, by the way? I guess I assumed everybody could see it. I do release these episodes as a podcast. So shout out to the podcast people. Sorry that I just now uh, shared that this is the Tuesday niche. Uh, but the 2 22 uh, you can get some keywords here. You can see, by the way, the one thing I wanted to point out too is that this brand uh, is the Tuesday 2022 shirts. It's not the born brand. So shout out to the number one bestseller, not abusing the Amazon search algorithm like everybody else does that sells in the born brand. By the way, real quick, I don't have any updates on the born stuff. Somebody thought that I w did have contacts at Merch by Amazon. No, it's the opposite. I have no contacts at Merch by Amazon. Every time I tell them to call me, nobody reaches out. So I know as much as you guys do about it. Unfortunately, I'm just hoping that they clean that up. Uh, all right. Niche number two. And this one is Ronnie, Bobby, Ricky, Mike, Ralph, and Johnny. Okay. Now I did a quick Google search of this and I don't really understand why it's trending. Uh, what pops up when you Google search it is that these are song lyrics from a song that's like 30 or 40 years old. So guys, disclaimer really quickly, watch this. Every top five niches of the week video, I put a link in the description to my video called, is this niche safe? And it's my process. The best I can do to validate a niche because it's one thing you're like, Ryan, but don't you just check the trademark? Yeah, you can check the trademark, but here's the thing. You can still get a rejection if it's not trademarked, right? Oh, well you have to check the content policy too. Okay. You check that too. Sometimes you check both. 
okay, it's not trademarked and it's not against the content policy and you get rejected anyways. And I have no, I can't tell, I, I don't work for merch. I don't know anybody there. They won't tell me how it works, but the best I can do is say that it appears that they are allowing submissions, even though it's song lyrics and you're like, oh, are song lyrics okay? Are they not? Ultimately, somebody is in control of the Merch by Amazon submission approval algorithm and they decide when something's okay and when it's not okay. I mean, ultimately, they really just decide when it's not okay. I think like initially everything is okay. Um, so this appears to be okay. One day it may not be okay anymore. They can change their mind. All I'm trying to say is disclaimer, guys. It's not my fault if they change their mind. As of right now, as of me recommending this niche, uh, you can see it's selling quite well. 16,000 BSR, 80,000, 123,000, 124,000. But I do not know if it is safe. Like I can't tell you definitively. All right, so I just wanted to let you know it. this is not related to a holiday, right? This is not a low-hanging fruit niche. This is a niche that people who are hungry for sales that go in there and get to the research tools every day that they are going to find. You know, these types of niches that like if you actually are in there regularly, you'll be like, oh, this is new. You know what I mean? But that doesn't mean it. You know what I mean? I can't guarantee it's safe. All right, I'm moving on. Hopefully you guys get the point there. All right, niche number three. And this is another one that I was like, man, this has got some really good BSRs. And I don't know if it's, related to a period of time or what but it is monster trucks all right and this is another reason why i really like the pretty merch pro research tool because you can actually do keyword searches and uh, it performs much better than any of their competition uh, that is my unbiased opinion honestly give it a shot if you have multiple tools uh, their ability to niche down within parent niches though using the search function to me is um, probably the best so when I searched for monster trucks, because typically what I do is I scroll through the best sellers. And if you do it regularly enough, you start to see patterns. You start to see a lot of the same stuff. When you see something new climbing the ranks, you're like, okay, what's up here? Let me go investigate further. Oh, okay. I'm going to type in monster trucks. And it's one that, you know, I normally would have breezed past, but I was like, you know what? No, let's see what's going on here. Uh, and you can see there's a lot of monster truck shirts doing really well. And these are perfect for cross niching. You know, you got the monster truck behind me with the unicorn. Uh, just, you know, monster trucks are my jam, which by the way, you can say like X is my jam. You know what I mean? You can use automate POD, the Chrome extension and automate a bunch of designs where it's just like X, whereas that's a variable like hobbies, interests, etc., are my jam and make a bunch of shirts. Um, just a generic shirt there. It says monster trucks. Another shirt says this kid loves monster trucks, which is another great example of a, you can automate designs like that. Uh, this kid loves X where X is again, hobbies, interests, etc. All right, so monster trucks, guys, put that on your radar, monitor it. Maybe it's something, maybe it's nothing. I'm trying to do more than just say, you know, the obvious niches, right? Like, oh yeah, you know, like just sell Black History Month and sell uh, Pi Day and, you know, et cetera. All right, niche number four, speaking of low hanging niches, this is one where I found a sub niche that I think has potential within a uh, more obvious niche that's coming up. And this niche is king cake. All right, king cake. <laughs> I was actually eating some king cake uh, last week. Uh, we got one delivered to the house and I'm not gonna lie, it was delicious. It was better than any king cake I had when I was uh, last last time I was in New Orleans. Um, so shout out to whoever made the king cake that was uh, delivered. It was delicious, all right? Uh, king cake though, related to, you know, Fat Tuesday, Mardi Gras, et cetera, for anybody that doesn't know what king cake is. Uh, so the king cake shirt's doing quite well. And it's, again, it's like kind of pivoting a little bit off of the more obvious generic Mardi Gras shirts. Okay, so check out King Cake shirts uh, here from, you know, Pretty Merch Pro. You can see keyword analysis, Mardi Gras, Carnival, uh, the, the more obvious keywords you would expect. Uh, you can see, you can see like sales projections, lifetime sales projections, etc. All right, niche number five. And this one, I you know, I don't know why this is trending. I feel like I say that at least once per episode. Uh, I tried to do my due diligence. I said, let's get physical. Okay. Again, I know that there's songs that say let's get physical. By the way, there's many songs. So, and this is comes back to like, I know somebody's gonna be like, well, that means you can't sell it guys. Like, I feel like every string of words that form a sentence in the English language has either been said in a song written in a book. You know what I mean? At some point in human history, does that mean we can never say it again? Oh my God. Or ever use it on a t-shirt in my personal opinion. It's typically not the case unless of course it's like trademarked for protection on t-shirts or if the Amazon merch algorithm says, no, you can't sell this anymore. Right? So let's get physical is actually selling quite well. I don't have a reason for you. Uh, but you know, BSR 47,000, 114,000, 117,000, 130,000, 140,000. Like these are good BSRs. This is what we want to see when we're looking for these pockets of, you know, niches to sell in, right? Cause it's like, it's validated, but it's not completely exploited where it's like, 
you know, we'll, we'll never make a sale in that niche. All right. So this is to me presents a pretty good opportunity. You can see there, they got some pretty cool colors, etc. Of course, do your due diligence. Like, I don't know if this is all owned by the same seller because there is a replication of the same design twice. Actually, no, it happens two different times almost. So, you know, do your due diligence. And, uh, I, by the way, I went here, I wanted to show you guys. I went ahead, I did a trademark search, which by the way, is super easy to do now while you're doing your niche research because pretty merch pro well, pro pro plus users under the research tab can now access trademark search. And it is, I mean, it couldn't be easier guys. You literally, you see up there at the top there, there's next to the trend finder button, which is the default. It says trademark search, click trademark search, type in your keywords, check that match whole words. And uh, it's, it's really good. Like I was experimenting with it a little bit. This isn't the best example. Maybe I'll do a video dedicated to this to just show you like how easily now you can check trademarks and they even get into when, when there is results, they do like shirt kind of, or not shirt, sorry, word derivatives. Is that the right word? Where it's like, you could say physical and it might search for like physically or physicals, right? It gives you similar words. And then also when there are results, it'll tell you like what it's trademarked on. So if it's t-shirts, it'll tell you that class of goods. If it's something else, not t-shirts, I believe it still tells you that it's registered, but it'll say like, you know, some other class of goods, not t-shirts. So I found it very easy to use, very fast and, um, you know, effective, much easier than looking at the USPTO database, by the way. And again, it's only one click away. So all my pro plus users check that out. And if you're not on pro plus, I always put a link in the description in case you want to check it out as well. I've been loving it. Uh, and hopefully they continue to make upgrades as well, because it really does make it easy when it's like one click away. You're already in the pretty merch or sorry, the merch by Amazon ecosystem click, boom, your niche research is done. Click your trademark validation is done two clicks. So here you can see actually one of the best sellers is a tank top, which is interesting because it's pretty cold in Virginia where I live, but I am actually going to be in Florida this week. So uh, looking forward to that. Maybe I need to grab one of these tank tops and wear it uh, while I'm down there. All right. Seller trends. These are shirts that have seen a significant jump in BSR. This is brought to you by Flying Research. Uh, and here you can see a lot of Tuesday shirts, some Black History shirts, uh, limited edition Tuesday, of course, Mardi Gras, all the low hanging fruit right here. Uh, right there in seller trends one click away. I love when they make it simple guys uh, Looking ahead if you want to sell some random shirts related to random holidays one month out March 20th is spring equinox March 21st world poetry day March 22nd national goof off day March 23rd national puppy day March 25th waffle day gotta love waffle day a uh, bonus t-shirt that I liked while I was doing my research I like this Marty Grar. <laughs> Like they literally cross niche T-Rexes with everything. And this shirt has 21 reviews. So if you think this is stupid and uh, you know, who the heck is going to buy this? No, no. If you're doing a T-Rex plus major holiday, it seems like sales are almost guaranteed. Marty Grar <laughs> instead of Gra, And you have the purple, green, and yellow T-Rex. Gotta love it. All right. Deleted designs brought to you by Merch Ninja. Take a quick look. Um, you know, I can't really see much trends other than you see a lot of the sports shirts continuing to get removed. Some of the axolotls, is that even what it's called? Axolotl, axolot? I don't know. Those weird animals um, that have been trending now and again, a lot of them still getting removed. Some retirement shirts, which is weird. All right, and guys, as we wrap the video up, just a reminder, new giveaway just launched, ryanhoog.com forward slash giveaway or use the link in the description. Enter to win the print on demand mega pack. It's free to enter. It takes like 10 seconds. The winners, two winners will be selected and announced next weekend. They're going to receive a license to flying research, print on demand research tools, automate POD, print on demand design creation automation, all American graphics. I did a video showing how I use them and all sunsets to make some really nice St. Patrick's Day shirts. By the way, they extended the sale through 22222. Of course they did. Uh, so if you want to take advantage of that, use the link in the description. I always link to them on these videos because they are a sponsor. So thank you to them and Bubble Scout, my go to Redbubble niche research tool. So guys, you can find all those links in the description as well as a link to my full print on demand course if you want to check that out, guys. Thank you for watching till the end. Please like, please subscribe, please enjoy the rest of your weekend and I'll see you tomorrow with a new video.